Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be going over the things that you need to know to be able to add a Firewire expansion card to your machine and not have any problems. The reason why you'd want to install a Firewire card is because modern motherboards do not include a Firewire port. And some interfaces require a Firewire to be able to be connected to your computer. So one of the first things you need to look at is the available slots on your motherboard. There are fundamentally two kinds of slots. You have PCI and PCI Express. Nine times out of ten, you will only run into PCI Express. There are major differences between PCI and PCI Express. And I don't want you to get excited and order the wrong card uh, because it won't fit in your motherboard and you'll be sad. This is a motherboard featuring only PCI Express slots. These are both indeed PCI Express slots, they just have different lanes. The top one here runs at 16x and the bottom one runs at 1x. The number of X's or lanes dictates how much bandwidth is allotted. So here we have a PCI Express 16 card going into a PCI Express 16 slot. And here is what will most likely be your Firewire card, which will be a 1X card going into a 1X slot. But the cool thing is a 1X card will fit in a by 16 slot. So you don't have to use a 1X slot to install your Firewire card. Something else I thought I should mention is there are three revisions of PCI Express uh, 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0. They're all backwards and forwards compatible, so you don't need to worry about um, which version that you're using on your card, because uh, a 1.0 version card will work on 3.0, 3.0 will work on 2.0, etc., etc. So you, need, you don't need to worry about that. And uh, you also need, don't need to worry about uh, whether the particular slot is working at... Uh, uh, 16x or 8x that's uh, typically for graphics cards and out of the scope of this video um, yeah so i hope you enjoyed and take care and have a good one